They've been able to get to the front porch. Yeah. They've got to knock on the door once or twice, but every time they, they get booted back up the porch. Mm. Minnesota goes to zone there, and Rubio gets the takeaway. Culver gets paid. Even though those uh, 1,500, they said it sounded like a whole lot more. But uh, not going to be fans here in Los Angeles for quite some time. Ricky Rubio, second stint with this club. His tongue would have to be hitting the floor before, before he came out. Three to shoot. Ricky Rubio steps aside from THT and hits it from the outside. Ricky Rubio. You know, get another look at Rubio knocking down that uh, three-pointer. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Beasley. Rubio. Collides with Kennard, draws the foul, drops the bucket, and gets one more on the house. Rubio. Strong take by Ricky. And made Denver so successful. Wolves looking for the lead for the first time tonight. They've got the lead for the first time on this homestand. Go to put two on the board. Minnesota really having to recalibrate their entire offense as Rubio gets the steal. Tries to handle the ball, kicks it back outside to Russell. Jake Lehman fresh onto the floor. Russell, Gary Trent Jr. defending, tries to get him on the backside. Rubio, back to Russell. Nice little feed. To, to coach in the men's game. Of course. If you gave her, who wouldn't want to get the payday? And the challenge. Well, I said I assumed I knew what the answer was, and I thought that would be it, but... <laughs> well, I, you know, I, but you say that. He did have a few seasons in Toronto when he did shoot his nice lock oh. jump there again. Gotta love that. By the way, Jim, we've got a scoring difference on the scoreboard in our stat monitors. So our stat monitors say 23-23. In-house it says 23-22. And now the Timberwolves finally hit their first bucket in over five minutes. Well, they both like to shoot it. They're neither yeah. one shot. <laughs> That's very true. Rubio. Wow. Ricky Rubio's corkscrewing himself. He celebrated by going back to Texas and pumping gas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, as Ricky Rubio gets the reverse layup here, Kevin Herger's going to get called for a foul. It was a sales job in the summertime. <laughs> I mean, like, what in the world? And it is a different world, that's for sure. But a better chance of winning that battle. Jared Vanderbilt can't get that first one to go. Bulls wearing the Aurora Greens on Saturdays. Malik Beasley gets Minnesota on the board. 16-point lead early on against Utah on Thursday night. They shot 8 of 11 from three-point range in the opening quarter. Ooh, that was wow. nice. Rubio to Nas. You don't see that very much with Nas. Quick hit and pass out of it and come get the handoff back. And the defense is wrong. You just read it. Josh Okoge is not a three-point shooter. Curry knew that. Ricky Rubio with a shot clock at five. Little show and go. That's and nice. just over iron. Now Rubio, year 10, he's still a 37% shooter. They had to stop him three times, but they finally do. Draymond snatched that one. Steph having that deflected and turning it over. Rubio running with friends. Beasley down the lane to lay it up and in. Rubio. Gave up what appeared to be a wide open layup because he had Beasley in the corner. Rubio, one of the best passers in the league still. Uh, Bill, he's got good form on his shot, good, good rotation. Just a matter of touch and uh, believing in it. Knock him that time. Three minutes, 40 seconds gone by in the second. Rubio looking for the open man as he whips it across the baseline and by Chainlin Noel. A little bit different look for the Thunder tonight. And Coach Mark Degano talked about we're going to drive the basketball a little bit more as Rubio gets his sixth point. Rubio goes baseline behind the back to a cutting Jared Vanderbilt. Excellent. Matched up on Beasley and Kawhi a little bit too strong. Tim rolls a chance to go in front. Rubio. Oh, how about that? Ricky with the fake, able to get green by Towns. Rick Rubio sips his way. I thought he was going to shoot the little leaner. Uh, alley a tipped right there, but he was still able to knock it down, man. You talk about athleticism, and he is an aggressive offensive player. Malik Beasley. The length there of Jaden McDaniels. Yeah, I think he surprised Pascal. 
And that one rattles around in three. Impressive, completely surprised Pascal. The scouting report also says this is the NBA. <laughs> okay, and if you give NBA players clean look. Who over the last six games is averaging better than 22 minutes. I, I like what Nick Nurse had to say about Bembry before the game, Matty. Oh, nice pass, Slam nice finish. dunk by McDaniels. Different situations on the floor. Check this out again. Rubio, nice little look inside. And Towns. Good show by Baines. And then a recovery on Rubio. Oh, and Rubio man. makes it five-point lead. Backed out by Vanderbilt, and the Timberwolves come up with the basketball. Vando starting out on LeBron, and then Minnesota loading up on him as well as Ricky <laughs> gets the move to his left. So without AD, you got a situation where the Lakers are likely to step up. Like, we've got to, you know, go out there and take care of business because AD's out. Uh, they'll not defend the rim, obviously, as you see another bucket there. Taking the games away from the Lakers and winning the championship, that was never going to happen. Rubio had to take what? it and he makes it! <laughs> Kyle Kuzma just throws his hands up in the air. As the contact happened, again, Rubio was nowhere to go. Kyle Kuzma had a contesting hand up. And he puts some air underneath that one. He's usually got a typically a pretty uh -huh. flat shot as Ricky Rubio just threads the needle. Yeah. Shooting did improve a little bit, especially from downtown. Not so great in 1819 with Utah, but he was above 35% the first year in Utah. Beasley with the stuff off the feet from Rubio. Some hands were getting steals. And again, in the bounce pass situation, Sabonis tries to thread it to the cutter that time, and Carl Anthony Towns gets his hand. Shot clock winding down. Here's Rubio on the feed from town. So a good start for Ricky Rubio. He now has eight points. Yeah, three of four in shooting is Rubio. Providing impetus now for the T-Wolves. Into the corner for a McDaniels three. Yeah, Randall fell asleep that time. This looked like he's looking for more. Rubio thought about shooting the three, now driving on Barrett. It's good on the foul. He uses the ball fake. Barrett goes for it. Now he's chasing him. And creative move by Rubio. See right there, that's how he bedevils back. Averaging 20 a game. He's the second leading scorer behind Towns for Minnesota. Oh, the slickness of Ricky Rubio has always been apparent, and he has given Minnesota the early touchdown lead. Here it is right there. There's a little kind of Ole defense. He doesn't look like he's... It's 14 Six straight up. field goals for the Bulls. Yep. What was it, 10 in a row? 10 possessions in a row the other night? They had oh. scores. There's Beasley with a chance at a three-point play. Rubio takes it away from Chris Paul. He's got Okogie with him, and he doesn't need him. Uses it himself. Rubio takes it away. Ricky. And Ricky all the way to the rack. And Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo had a big, a big night in that win, by the way, for Portland. He certainly did. For the Wolves early on. Again, Vanderbilt, as he does, denies elbow catches all the time. Wolves moving it around. Layman to Ricky in the corner. Shot clock getting low. And Rubio hits it with the shot clock about to expire. Ricky Rubio, he got there. Didn't curl it, though. And takes it away, Josh Hart. Got to protect it. And that game's due all in the last 29 seconds. And he's got his third steal already. And he's going to get his second. No, he's going to give it up to Lehman on the assist and the dunk. He has exactly one against the Timberwolves franchise. Rubio, good dish to Vanderbilt, who scores easily. Nobody home for the Lakers defensively. Drive, kick, KCP can't hit it. Vanderbilt's got a rebound. Here they come on the break. It's two on one. Rubio with Markeith Morris hustling back, but they foul him, and it's an and one. Four does a great job of getting in front. You can see the push by Markeith. And good concentrate. He is showing his ability to play this game. Question mark if he really loved the game uh, before the draft. Cat able to pluck it away. Oof. Overall pick. Yeah. One of three number one overall picks on the floor tonight. Not known for his defense. Uh, although, you know, that's a part of his game he needs to elevate. But look where he took off from. Oh, my.
Or Hernan Gomez, oh, rather, came waiting, in too hot. I was waiting on the next guy. It looked like the gorilla in the fourth quarter with his group throwing it off the backboard. Rubio with the steal, and Edwards finally. And then what he's done here, he's been able to convert himself into a 4-5. He's very versatile. Rubio, wow, that's tough by Ricky, able to hit it while moving. Well, you got to give up something to get Paul George. I, I understand that, but... Rubio, how about that? A finish? maestro right there. Yes, no doubt. If you have Kawhi Leonard in the mix, I mean, when you think you're on the cusp of winning a title, though, Jim, you know Shea at that point is. They've got guard problems, Dave. You've got 11 point deficit and just under six minutes to go in the game. Plenty of time. Timberwolves come up with it. Aaron Gomez and Wancho C. Senor. And what we're seeing is the Nets can score whenever they want to against the Timberwolves. Rubio, strong. It, yeah. Now again, he missed three games here, but he missed earlier seven games and one stretch early in the season before the acquisition of James Harden as Rubio gets the roll. You had the right people shooting the ball because Edwards wants to drive it. He, he's he's not that great of a shooter. Period. Oh, got got the pocket pick there. McDaniel's the catch, but the Pacers get back, but they lose Layman. Tied at six. Out of the pack, it's Walker. Ahead to Tatum. Back to Walker. Nice play. Rubio's all over the place yes, right now. Yes, he is. Rob's got to be careful on this play. Oh, that was a nice move. Yes, it was. Oh, wow. Geez. Ricky Rubio from deep. And r routines as an excuse for why you are not playing well in a basketball game. It's, it doesn't, it rings hollow for me. R Rubio gets ahead to Edwards. Well, we wish him the best, no doubt. Rubio sniffs uh -oh. out a steal. <laughs> Ricky's got none to beat. And it falls <laughs> in and he took the contact. There was a lot going on right there. Offensive? Ricky Rubio got tripped by Kendrick Nunn. They can't be calling an offensive foul. They did foul. call offensive. They called an offensive foul. Chris Finch is going to review that. Going to have that. Yep. He's going to challenge yeah, it. Yeah, he is challenging it. 19 years old. That move right there. Yes. Under control. Patience. Yes. Kings turn it over. Here comes Rubio. Reverse layup. There's a timeout coming here. Yeah, Kogi with the tip. Nas Reed and Towns, two bigs out there. Rubio, corner three, shot clock winding down. Bang, Ricky Rubio. Ricky. Who switch all of it. Oh, my goodness. Gets it to D'Lo all alone, and D'Lo for the lead. <laughs> Complete mix-up by Utah, just trying to keep Towns from catching the basketball. Expecting him to get yeah. an easy layup. Just Xing off the top and Carl Anthony Towns popping and Rudy Gobert for some reason leaves D'Angelo Russell. I don't know who Rudy thought was going to guard D'Lo once he left him. And Jim, how about the patience by Ricky? I mean, he used just about every second of the five seconds to get it in, but it pays dividends as D'Lo finally got free. Wow. He has been fantastic. He's Kirk got more assists than he does points this year. By a wide margin. Timberwolves get the stop. Rubio and Ricky. Oh, that was terrific. Done. Let's take another look. Yeah. Watch Ricky. I just don't know why you have to fall like three times here the, the last ten games of the season. So, Kevon Looney can't get that pass handled. Minnesota's off to the races again. Josh Akogi with a tough finish and really deserves a hand one opportunity here. Wouldn't you know it, Timberwolves have 12 more threes here tonight. So you can go get another free sandwich. Josh Okogi, that was an impressive finish amongst three Warriors jerseys. Yeah. Come on, Looney had mishandled. Ingram mishandles. Rubio trying to keep it alive and does. Gets it ahead to Edwards. And Ant with the finish. Rubio inside for Reed, and that's a nice find by Ricky. He realized Williamson was on him on the switch, so the paint was open. He's done his part, hasn't he? Certainly has. He's on the floor with four, four, four personals. Rubio forces a turnover. Ricky back for Ant. 
30 to 28. We'll watch that one close. Butler misses the first shot of the game. Here comes Rubio and the Timberwolves. Rubio and a foul. Yeah, he's explosive too. Gets to the wing. No shot blocker. Right to left cross and gets the step there on Duncan Robinson. Able. Here's Towns against Adebayo. Rebound in traffic. It's that guy, Jared Vanderbilt again. Rubio got fouled by Robinson and finished. Ricky Rubio. Discipline. Bites on the fake, and that's where the problems happen. Now they're reaching with the left hand trying to be able to recover on the quick attack. As it does them. Four of their five starters are in double digits. Rubio to the basket, flips it up, fills it up, falling down. Carl Anthony Towns against Okafor, rifles it inside. Ball ends up in the hands of Ricky Rubio for the corner three that's through. Yeah, I do remember that, that there was a night they could not make anything. Oh, what a cut by Okogi, and Rubio yeah. finds him right in stride. Yeah, they, they, they run that play for Josh had the lead at the end of the first quarter have all gone to the NBA Finals and you want me to say that because of that the Mavericks are, to, are going to the NBA Finals yes. I am not going to say that